Hundreds of chemicals in our world are linked to cancer. Have you ever wondered which ones of these are in your body? Startups are working on tests that could show you which ones you've been exposed to and help you decide what's safe to use and what to avoid. We tested what happens when you drink from a plastic water bottle. First, we collected a small amount of blood from two volunteers before and after they drank the water. We then mailed those samples to a lab to be analyzed. Blood is a complex fluid made up of proteins and many small molecules, some of which can reveal chemical exposures. In the lab, scientists used a technique called liquid chromatography to separate the mixture into different parts. A tool called a mass spectrometer was then used to measure those, and a computer program flagged possible exposures. So what did we find? Even though both volunteers drank filtered water from the same type of plastic bottle, only one showed a spike in a forever chemical linked to cancer. These chemicals are used in things like stain-resistant carpets, food packaging, and they've been found in tap and bottled water across the U.S. So why did it show up in one person and not the other? Scientists say age, genetics, diet, even your gut bacteria could all play a role in how your body absorbs certain chemicals. A spike in a forever chemical indicated by these tests does not necessarily mean you're going to get cancer. Cancer doesn't have a single cause. Scientists believe it's a result of a mix of factors like genetics, lifestyle, and environment, all interacting over time. Future testing could help us figure out which of us is most at risk.